everyone. I am Sharmishta Pallatto, a PhD student at European XFL, Schoenfeld, Germany. I am currently working with FX Instrument Group and I am investigating the metallophilic interactions in dimetal complexes where I need to find out the origin of like these metallophilic interactions and their electronic and structural changes in their higher excited states. Basic science is very important for our society for several reasons. Firstly, it drives the technological achievements and also the innovations in our society. For example, if you talk about the smartphones, internets, televisions and various medical instruments which are really rooted in basic science and it's the results of the innovations and which, is, which involve the basic science. Secondly, it expands our understanding in the natural world and often leading to the unexpected discoveries which have very important impact in our societies. Additionally, basic science is the uh, base for, uh, for various other applied sciences and it shows us how we can make a very well-being societies and the path for my innovations. Policymakers play a vital role in advancing science and research. They can allocate uh, various resources, establish research funding framework, and also like create a fruitful environment for the researchers to show their research and to improve their innovations. And if we talk about more about the funding, policymakers can make a like uh, some surety for this kind of funding for looking in depth for a part and also like um, that funding should be stable predictable and accessible to the researchers who actually need the funding and like this funding should be like uh, they can use for their um, research purpose Policymakers should also prioritize science education, collaborations between the industry and academia, and also like promote their researches to like to the whole world. So, so the researchers can be more motivated in their research. To build a more diverse scientific research community, we must address the systematic barrier that hinder the equitable participations. Like for educational in institutes and research organizations should actively work towards increasing the diversity and like their recruitment process and how they find out the new joinees in like in a diverse situations. And also like outreaching the efforts that should target diverse communities to inspire interest in science from a very early age. It's very important. Like, like we can uh, we can involve science education initiatives in schools, community engagement programs, and also like some kind of mentorship opportunities along with the promoting equal access to education, science, innovations, and support the under uh, represented um, groups around the world. And additionally, like um, addressing systemic biasness and stereotypes within the scientific community is very crucial that also need to be removed immediately from the society to make a better, better happening in the world. Looking ahead to the several scientific breakthroughs, it would be a transformative impact on society. Firstly, advancement in renewable energy and technologies and energy storage could like be a very good transition stage for us in this world. And it's not only this energy storage, but, but the um, uh, breakthroughs in solar power, wind energy, energy efficient materials and grid scale energy storage solutions. This could revolutionize our world and secondly the advancement in healthcare such as like the personalized medicine and gene editing technologies which can be a huge breakthrough for this society 
and most importantly the breakthrough in artificial intelligence and machine learning could revolutionize various industries including transportation finance and healthcare enabling more efficient and intelligent systems these all scientific breakthroughs hold the potential to address global challenges and improve the quality of life of people around the, all around the world thank you Thank you.